So, uh, last weekend, uh, a couple of the members of the beer community came out, didn't they? Liam and Shane, great to see them. And, uh, you know, we did a bit of a pub call of Nottingham, and it was great. Great to go out and support local pubs, local breweries, which is, you know, it's tantamount to what, I, you know, if we all do this around the country, and, and where we can, spread the word on social media, I, I think it's important. And if there's some reciprocation from uh, breweries and pubs, then that's great, you know, it, it, there's, there's that intertwining thing. If, if, if a beer review is a good review and, it, and there's no swearing, which I try not to do these days, uh, and it's, as long as it's a good review, then, it, then it's, it's a promotion for your brewery, you know? So anyway, we was invited down to Magpie Brewery um, as a beer reviewer, you know, and, uh, um, walked in, what it was, there's a couple of lads who won the, well, Craig won, and the beer is here somewhere, it's, it's, it's here, but it was here, where's that beer gone, why is it, you can never find something, this is probably with having 500 beers, and it's here behind me, right next to it, so the, the fellow here, Craig Salabank, a member of Place to Brew, a Place to Brew, cracking home brew, uh, group in Nottingham. You can pay a five a month to be just to watch the group and joining on their social interactions And you can pay more and more, you know, if you don't want to buy the gear at home Brewing's not a cheap game to get into. You can do home brewing like I do and, and I'm quite happy with that. I, I might go into grain brewing in a, in, a, in a cheaper route. I can't afford to do it Professionally or anything. But anyway, he entered Op Idol last year Ran by Totally Brewed, Black Iris, The Abdication and um a place to brew so sake twit a whip beer yeah i don't know why they call it sake twit i, was, I presume there's a there's a reason behind but i'm not going into that um he come across as a nice lad to me so what can you say and anyway james and craig set up mardi bum brew company and at christmas uh, just before Christmas, they did a collaboration with Fire Rock Brewing Company up in Sutton and Ashfield. That beer came out before Christmas, and it was a chili and chocolate uh, Mexican Imperial Mexican Stout. I think I'm, I'm now got it the wrong way around. Um, I can't remember the name of it now. No, it's gone. But in any case, then recently there was rumours that uh, Magpie Brewery, sadly they closed the Crafty Crow near Nottingham Castle. I think Covid did uh, Im immeasurable damage and the fact that the castle um, kind of priced their range out, priced themselves out of the range of a lot of people. Greed uh, in some ways, but uh, we're not going to go any further down that road. Um, and they've let, they've sold on their two other like, micro pubs that they had, the doctor's orders and the barrel drop have been sold to the relative uh, landlords and that you know best of luck to both people it's tough being you know in charge of your own place mm -hmm. but i feel as we're coming out of covid and pray nothing else happens in the world but as we're coming out of it i only see craft beer becoming stronger people want to get out you have two years stuck inside we need to get out and do some drinking drink good beer support great places so there's the bit of a backstory. It's going to be a long review at this rate. Um, so I had heard rumours from the rumour mill that um, the lads had brought into Magpie Brewery. Didn't hear anything for a few weeks, but um, yeah, Gavin and is it Katrina um, sold their shares, and now they have a, a I think it's a twenty five percent stake. There are three silent people there who have owned shares so magpie brewery is still going to carry on as magpie brewery but you've got red dog brewer red dog ales his beer came out last week look at that that's amazing magpie and obviously red dog proud of the bloke because johnny is a cracking lad and he's doing the brewing there now but now he's also got both craig and james as well and for me, but you've also got Solstice as well who do their cuckoo brew in there. So for me now, you've got a very interesting um, thing where you're still going to do the traditional magpie stuff, 
you're still going to tweak that brand, but then you've also got the playing about with doing red dog stuff, which is, again, I would say at the moment, between it's between modern traditional and craft beer. And then you've got the lads, uh, the Mordibum. And I think they are going to be very much craft beer. So, and then Solstice also craft beer. So once um, the brewery sorts itself out, I think it's going to be very exciting. I know they've got plans. I know that the the, the crafty the crafty warehouse, as it was called, um, was used as a tap room. And I pray that they bring that back. I know there's licensing issues because it's next door to Knox County's football ground and the police around there can be a bit yeah um but the bottle shop itself you walk in big selection of beers beers um glasses merch they also support local cider makers the likes of Snenton Cider Company the likes of um I forgot the name Blue Barrel but yeah, good selection of beers, all the all the magpie beers there. There was even a Mardi Bum um, jacket there last week, which, you know, I like that. Um, what my colour, but I liked it nonetheless. Then they've got a draft beer option where you can go up and get beers on keg. They had a slight over-carbonation issue last week. I'm, I'm sure they've sorted it out. It's sod's law that on the day you invite the whole of nottingham beer community out so brewers nottingham camera were there several other people and i have no idea who they are you know um i'm not really part of that clientele they could have, i don't know who they were but i know there are lots of breweries there because i spotted the brewery people uh place to brew were in attendance in some of their their people there um we did stop i only stopped for one to be fair uh, the lads wanted to get to Neon Raptor and it was getting quite busy. And to be honest, um, it was very, very busy for me. And uh, yeah, I wanted to, you know, come away. And uh, because of the slight over, over the issues with the over carbon on the keg, um, it meant that um, it was second age to pour the beers. However, th there would have been a way of pouring five or six at once, but you know, you do what you do. It, it's never easy, especially when you've got a load of punters at the back of you. You know, it's sod's law, isn't it? I mean, I've been there before and there was no issues at all. So, you know, stuff happens, doesn't it? And I'm not going to down them for that because I think there's a massively interesting um, time coming for Magpie. Obviously, Gavin, as and his good lady, have decided to move on to Pastures New. And... Um, you know, they've been there, I think it was 10 or 11 years or so, so they were saying. And Craig has gone full time there. James is still doing his own job, but going down at the weekends, obviously. You have to, we all have to balance things in life, you know. I'd love to do brewing. And learn more. And piggyback on, on a brewery. And say, you know, and learn off that. And even get free labour off me, as long as I've looked at Mick. And, uh, <laughs> but, um, but uh, yeah. Uh, the good thing for me is, for the Raggies Beer Festival next year, my renewal, Red and Bow renewal, uh, they do beers in kegs, which means I shall be going down, seeing what they've got on offer uh, at the day, getting some beers chucked into keg, and, uh, yeah, a couple, two or three beers at the beer festival, I do presume. Uh, I want to support as many local breweries as I can at my beer festival, at my wedding vows. I'll be inviting, hopefully, people from the beer community, if they're interested, because they may think I'm not going anywhere near him. <laughs> you never know, do you? Yeah. But in any case, it'll be a good laugh anyway. But that's not the point. And you get to see Cockley, or my workplace. But anyway, um, yeah, I only see good things for this. There's a steep learning curve, you know, going from homebrew to commercial, to a big commercial brewery, steep learning curve, lots of hours at work. It's not going to be easy. Um... Luckily, you've already got Johnny in place. He's been there a year, so he knows the crack and he's learned. And you're always learning. And if you don't learn in any job, you never move with the times. So always about learning. And the, the good thing is with Nottingham's breweries, that the, the two lads who've took over, they've got friends across Nottingham breweries. So 
advice will always be given to those who help or ask. <laughs> Harry Potter. <clears throat> anyway, yeah, so cracking day. Then the slight issue with the with the with the cake port on that. I mean they probably got it sorted with it after I went. Um but in any case, you know, if the, the bottle shop itself, an amazing place to go down, go and treat yourself. They weren't opening at the weekends, however, that may well change. I think they did it because to get some time off. But with different people in charge now at the front at least um they may well reopen and they may well reopen the tap room especially on days when there's no county playing if they do reopen the tap room at the weekends i'm definitely going down with my wife and i'm going to sample some lovely magpie brewery beers and uh yeah because they've got they've got a good space indoors there's um i've sp spoke to the lads and uh like they're going to rejig the indoors to make it more bigger inside. Um, I think they've got a load of casks from other breweries so they can get their them breweries to get their blooming casks. And um, yeah, and get it rejigged. But yeah, exciting times, exciting times. Big long review, a little bit of explanation to go in with it. But yeah, great one, lads. All the best for the future from Mr. Raggy. Cheers, all. I'll turn off now.